It's Friday morning, and we're looking at John chapter 19 and our wonderful words of life. And this is Friday when Jesus is crucified, so maybe we just ought to think about that. But anyway, he's crucified. It says in verse 17 of John 19, it said, They took him out and they crucified him in a place called the Skull. And he was there, and uh, Pilate had written over his uh, um, cross, the king of the Jews, in three languages. And, you know, they, uh, they did all that. But I thought this was interesting. I think about this. He said... In verse 25, their so, uh, the soldiers did some things. They uh, cast lots for his garments or whatever. But he said, but there were standing by the cross. This is in verse 25. They were standing by the cross of Jesus, his mother. Jesus and his mother, were they were always tight. And he says, his mother's sister, his aunt. Uh, and then it says, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. And when Jesus saw his mother, you remember the words? He said, woman, behold your son, giving charge of Mary to John. And he said, Behold your mother. And he said, From that hour, John, uh, who had a special relationship with Jesus, took Mary into his household. But I think about this. I think about, well, where's everybody else? Uh, where's Simon Peter? Where's James? John is there. But where are the rest of the disciples? They are all scattered. It's interesting how when pressure comes, we can be scattered. Uh, don't you know for the rest of their lives, these disciples lamented the fact that when Jesus was dying, they didn't have the courage to stand with him. They didn't have the courage to go and, and be there with him. Don't you know that was a, a terrible thing to think about? Uh, being scattered like that, nothing was going to happen to them. They were protected by God's power. Nothing was going to happen to Peter. Nothing was going to happen to, to John, obviously. He was right there. at the. He was identified as a disciple, and nobody did anything to him. Uh, the women... The people who were the most unlikely people to be at that crucifixion, somehow connected with Jesus Christ in their heartfelt agony and watched Jesus in his heartfelt agony. And they were not only witnesses to that, they in many ways were sharers of that. And they became different persons because of that. These women were people who were close to Jesus. Uh, surely they were supporting his mother. But his mother wasn't going to go anywhere. Mary Magdalene, who'd been delivered of all those demons, wasn't going anywhere. She, did, she wasn't about to, be, to lose her courage. Sometimes the people we think are the least uh, effective in the kingdom are, are those that uh, are most attuned to the kingdom. They love the Lord more than we could ever imagine, and nothing would ever separate them from the love of Christ because they show it by being there. They're not going to be scattered. Not going to be scattered by the world. Not going to be scattered by the lust of the flesh not going to be scattered by a political climate. They're not going to be scattered. They're going to stand with Jesus no matter what. And when you stand with Jesus, you can be assured you already know he's always going to stand with you. Don't be afraid to stand with Jesus. Don't be scattered today. Take up the cross that God's given you and live it and love it and give him glory. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you that you are never going to leave us or forsake us. That means your power and presence are never absent. Thank you for that incredible gift. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.